live from Las Vegas. It's the Cube covering ServiceNow Knowledge 2018. Brought to you by ServiceNow. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of ServiceNow Knowledge 18. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, Dave Vellante. We're joined by Nick White. He is the principal at Deloitte Australia. Thanks so much for coming on theCUBE, Nick. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. So we've been having great conversations <laughs> before the cameras were rolling, but tell us a little bit about D-Assist, which is a new technology you're unveiling at this conference. Yeah, so uh, it's, a, it's a solution that we've built, which is essentially a voice-enabled solution to allow patients and nurses to communicate. Um, uh, essentially we're targeting, identifying critical patient needs, critical patient requests, and getting help to them as fast as possible. Okay, so tell, tell us a little bit more about the kind of the, 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 infra, the technology behind it and... Yeah, sure. Well, it, uh, let me go back and tell you yeah. about where it came from. Uh, one of my colleagues uh, was in hospital with his father who unfortunately passed away uh, while he was in hospital. Uh, and, and through that experience, uh, he was observing what was going on in the hospital. And, and afterwards, he and I sat down and started to go through it and understand where were the challenges that, that the hospital had in that ward experience and the recovery. And, and we identified that the, if you look back at the history of the call bell, it hasn't changed in about 150 years. Florence Nightingale came up with the idea of a bell for patients, but that was in a ward environment where you had 30 or 40 beds in a room. And you could look across the room and you could see that patient, okay, I can see what they need, either I rush to their aid or I can get to them in a minute. Hospitals today, we've gone and put walls up, curtains, and you've lost that visual cue. But all we've done to support the nurses is we've made that bell electronic and we put a light above the door. So we looked at that system and we saw all of the different points where you could have a failure along there that essentially then would compromise patient care at no fault of the nurses whatsoever. And we thought, how can we better support the nurses to give that care that they work so hard to give? Uh, and we came up with the idea of having a voice-based solution that a patient can actually state their request. We could process that request and we could present it to the nurses and try and give some guidance as to what the next best action for the nurse might be and, and allow them to uh, essentially provide accelerated care to those people really in need. All right, so explain the system, because it's, it's fascinating what you guys do, how you're using NLP and and, and, and ServiceNow. Yeah, so the solution is enabled by uh, AWS and ServiceNow. Uh, so at the, at the front end of the solution, we've got a smart speaker in the room. Uh, that essentially passes the, the speech that the patient has made once they've woken the device through to the AWS platform. From there, we pull out the intent. So, so we convert that speech to text, pull out the intent, and then that intent is passed through to ServiceNow. And once we've got it in ServiceNow, we can do all sorts of things with it. So we can apply a set of business rules, we can smart route it to the, the most appropriate person to meet the patient's needs, uh, we can look at the prioritization that the hospital wants to give that sort of query, and we can push it up or down in the queue based, based on that prioritization. Uh, and then we present that to the nurses using a dashboard on the nurse station, but we've also got the mobile app deployed. So the nurses have actually got a mobile in their pocket, which buzzes when the, when the patient makes a request, they're able to whip the phone out, have a look at what the patient's need is, and make a decision. I'm always fascinated when a company like Deloitte comes up with a solution like this. It's not like you went to the, to the client and the client said, this is what we want. Mm. So how did you go about figuring all this out? What was the process you, you used? Uh, it's a really good question. Uh, for us, it was, it's not about us designing the solution. We, we, we saw the problem, uh, and you know, we're, we're problem solvers, that's, that's really what we do. We went and engaged one of the local hospitals in Australia. We said to them, listen, is, is this right? Have we actually cottoned on to something that is a real problem here? And it really resonated with them. And they gave us access to their top 30 nurses and also their simulation hospital. It's a hospital that's used for training and development. And in that environment, we iterated the design with the nurses and built a solution essentially by nurses for nurses. Uh, so the idea was that it was as intuitive to use as your iPhone because nurses aren't like IT guys. They're not sitting behind computers all day. It's not native to them to use that sort of interface. So we wanted to make it as simple as I touch, drag, drop, and I let go, and I've done the job that I need to do. And, and so the nurses' feedback from the, the implementations that we've done so far have been this is so easy to use. 
That's the phrase they've given us. This is just so easy to use. And then what's the feedback from the patients? How are they using it specifically? Yeah, so I'll give you the example of the, the, the spinal ward we've gone into at the Prince of Wales Hospital in Sydney. Uh, the, the Prince of Wales Hospital Foundation heard about what we were doing and they identified the opportunity to, to fund us to go into the spinal ward. And when you think about spinal patients, traumatic injury, and often these patients are in hospital for months, if not years, in a very isolating environment, trying to recover from a traumatic injury. Uh, not only that though, they may not have full uh, access to their limbs anymore to be able to press a call button. Uh, and the, the hospital foundation saw this, this opportunity to place our solution in the hands of these patients, or in, in these patients' rooms. Uh, and it has been overwhelmingly successful. We've got 26 beds rolled out in the ward. Um, we've been in there for a, a little over a month now. And, and on the very first day, we had a patient who was in the bathroom in a precarious situation, needed help, couldn't reach the call bell, and was able to wake up the device from the bathroom, ask for help, and have two nurses rush to their aid. Um, we've had a patient who was suffering severe pain after their injury, and, and is now able to alert the nurses that the request that they were making is about pain, and they were able to come in a much faster time. Uh, we've also seen um, complaints about nurse response time go from a, a decent level to nothing. Uh, and, and whether those were real complaints or not is, is beside the point. The patients were feeling like they were waiting a period of time and, and that was uncomfortable for them. Uh, now they're not complaining at all. So that patient experience has really shifted. That's great, and it's such a miraculous technology. This is really impressive. Best of luck to you, Nick. This was uh, really fun having you on the show. Thank you very much. I'm Rebecca Knight for Dave Vellante. We will have more from ServiceNow Knowledge 18 just after this. Thank <laughs> you.